I got nothing for this week. Uh, <laughs> coming, coming in. Me neither. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be quite honest. No, it, it, it's so weird because as soon as at, at first when COVID happened, I you know I don't think that there's been an episode where we haven't talked about anything COVID non-COVID related. Yeah. I feel like every single episode we talk about the pandemic at some to some length, but I feel at first it was slow, but once we really got into it and we started losing track of the days and everything, life just seemed to go by so quick. Dude, I don't understand how it's already March 16th. I'm like, bro, it just became March. And next thing you know, it's going to be April and then summer is going to be here. So I took a little venture up north. I know. See, here's the thing. I know a lot of people are bitching at people that travel and whatnot. I don't know if it's like when people go, if it's people traveling in general for like a day trip or something. I went on a day trip recently and just went out of town for the day came back and it was the best the best weather that i have been in. and i didn't even have to wear a sweater for a good couple hours during the day because it was so sunny and nice it was in the low 70s Damn. and i was like man i i miss this weather i miss it so much well it's almost summer that's true and also with date, uh, daylight savings, I almost said daytime savings. Daytime savings. <laughs> daylight savings. With that happening, yesterday was the first time that I have seen the sun out past 7 p.m. in what seems Dude. like forever. Yeah, I was, I was so driving confused. yesterday and it was like actually light out and it was like 6 o'clock. I was like, whoa. <laughs> like, <laughs> We've all weird. gone through so much over the last couple months, the whole year that we just had that it when was when did daylight savings start was it january or was it november not january jesus christ it, was, it started in like <laughs> december is it december or november um when does I, it start truly i want to say either november or october okay so it feels it feels like forever since i've seen the sun yeah <laughs> yeah i feel that and i once again rarely... guys we have nothing what I was like, once again, guys, we have nothing to talk about. <laughs> We're talking about the fucking weather, week. bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is what our entertainment has come down to. <laughs> Enjoy our weather talk. We are weathermen. <sighs> hear that? That's the sound of the weather. <laughs> <laughs> That's like when... Maybe this was just me, but I had. I know that we talked about how I used to have wrestling action figures and I used to have my own shows. Yep. Uh, keep in mind, everyone, I was like six or seven at the time. <laughs> 16, 17. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> and so whenever I would have those shows, I would make that like. <sighs> kind of like crowd sound. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> when people do that. Maybe I'm the only one that did it. Maybe I'm just a fucking nerd. I mean, to be fair, I had like Bratz dolls. And then when my brother, my older brother would like visit, um, he would have like Bionicles and shit. And so we would like, I would Bratz force him. Bionicles. Yeah, I would force him to like play with me. So um, we would just have that and we would like. Do random scenarios. It was so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember any off the top of your head? I really don't. All I Make literally up, all then. I remember is just like having the Bratz dolls and then like the fucking robotic assholes <laughs> just being there <laughs> like, hey guys, <laughs> we're here too. I'm picturing like a literal robotic asshole right now. <laughs> <laughs> Start your engines. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the most this is the worst. This is the stupidest intro. Oh, this is the worst. Hi guys, welcome back to Daydream Arcade. Um, I don't know what you that sounded was. like a cow. <laughs> a cow. <laughs> Wake up all you cows out there. Uh, <gasps> We're gonna get cancelled. I called our viewers cows. Damn. We should we should come up with a name 
for the listeners. Children play here, you fat cow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That uh, do you watch? It's always sunny in Philadelphia. I don't. Oh, uh, I've seen like there, clips and like I know you have mentioned it a few times, but I've never actually seen it. Is not your cup of tea. I've I've never actually seen like an episode. <gasps> we might have to change that. Yeah, I'd be down. There's to watch an episode it. where one of the main characters, Dennis, and his friend Mac, move to the suburbs on this bet. Uh huh. Um, that because like they live in the city in Philadelphia. So they're like, uh, Danny DeVito's character, Frank, was like, I bet I bet you that you two couldn't last like a month in the suburbs. And if you do, we'll pay your rent for a whole entire year. And if uh-huh. not, you have to sleep with an old man <laughs> for a year. And Dennis just progressively gets angrier and angrier living in the suburbs. There's this car that peels out of the dr- of their driveway and then just speeds away and he's like, "Children play here, you fat cow!" Oh my god, <laughs> dude, Danny DeVito cracks me up. I I would love to meet that man. I've met. I have. I think one of my friends says that they're deathly terrified of Danny DeVito. And I was like, Why? 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 He's just a small man. <laughs> he's just a tiny man. A really funny tiny man. Yeah. We should get Danny DeVito on the podcast. Because, <laughs> you know, he's he was already such an established actor. Yeah. And out of all the shows that he could have joined, he, he joined It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I mean, he gr- granted, he loves doing the show. Uh-huh. But, Is it still going on? Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, I think they're on their 16th season. Oh, my God. That's like Grey's like that. Anatomy. Yeah. I think they started it when they were in... I don't think they were in college, but they were really young when they started the show. Damn. Yeah. Because, what, it's been 16 years if yeah, every season. 16 years, and I'm surprised. I'm glad they haven't gotten canceled, but yeah. you know, I th- the reason w- I think why It's Always Sunny has, you know, gets away with everything that they do, like, this is a show where they have, where they've had white characters do blackface. Oh, no. <laughs> and they've, like... Like literally, the first episode of the series is called "The Gang Gets Racist," oh and it's like I think the reason why they haven't been canceled over all these years is because they portrayed like the worst kinds of people, and yeah. because of that, they avoid getting negative attention because it's obvious that they're just doing it to. Uh, poke fun at those types of people. Yeah, yeah, they're just like making fun of those assholes. Good show. If you haven't watched it, you should check it out. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Definitely want to watch that. That and uh, I heard Shit's Creek is good too. I've heard Shit's Creek is good as well. I haven't watched that. I have yeah. been watching two things lately, though. I've been watching the Netflix series adaptation of a series of unfortunate events. Oh. Which is really good. Neil Patrick Harris plays Count Olaf. Oh. He's so funny. He is, he is so, I love Neil Patrick Harris. He's funny, man. And I've also started watching uh, The Umbrella Academy. I've seen like one episode of that. Kat saw it and she said she loved it. I think it's two seasons. I just started watching it with Winter. Uh huh. And the only, uh, actor that I know that I recognized was Elliot Page. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot he's uh, in that. Duh. Yeah, he plays uh, this girl. I can't remember. Uh, brrr, I'm, we're gonna go with V because it starts with V. I actually I think that they say V a couple a couple times. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Elliot Page is in it. Um, he's awesome. And what else? I think that's all that I. I I recently we recently finished Santa Clarita Diet, which I absolutely loved. I Aww. I hate how it got canceled it because did? they definitely yeah they were gonna do another season and then they canceled it. Damn. So the way the show ended is kind of like oh like this is kind of up in the air kind of th- kind of deal, and it yeah. was so good because I like I really loved Drew Barrymore's like on screen relationship with Tim Timothy Oliphant's character. They gel really well. Uh-huh. together on screen um and also the the two 
the two actors who play oh, I can't remember. Uh, hang on, I need to look up Santa Clarita Diet Cast. Uh, yeah, Timothy Oliphant, Drew Barrymore uh, as Joel and Sheila, then Liv Hewson as Abby and Skylar uh, Gazando as Eric. Those two okay. were also really good. Nathan Fillion's in it. Oh, and also uh, to we were it's funny we were talking about it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Charlie Day's wife Mary Elizabeth Ellis is in it as well. Oh, uh, yeah, it's uh it's a good show. It's a really good show. It was on for three seasons. Santa Clarita Diet. It's on Netflix. Check it out. It's how do I how do I say this without you know what I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm not going to say anything about it. Go watch it. It's a very funny show. You'll <laughs> like it. How are you feeling about the new, or not the new, the second season of American Horror Story? I like it. It's yeah. really fucked up, but I like and, it. No, yeah, it's very fucked up. And I feel like it gets worse, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure it gets worse, because it always gets worse. <laughs> not in the bad sense. Oh, you want to talk about things that got worse? We were also in our Discord watching Two Sentence Horror, <laughs> two sentence horror Stories. <laughs> Meme Stories. Meme stories. Two sentence meme stories. That was a show. Uh huh. That probably shouldn't have existed. <laughs> How did you find out about it? The last couple episodes were pretty good. There were a couple episodes that stood I out. Mean, yeah, take... no, that's true. There were a few episodes that looked like there were ac- there was actually effort put into it. I was. Uh, I don't. I don't want to like discredit a lot of the people that made these. I, I don't. I mean, were, like, they made. They had so like the idea. And, like, the concept of what they were trying to do, fantastic. I get that. The execution was a little questionable, besides some episodes. Some were actually really good. Um, I mean, I think we had a little bit of, like, maybe the red flag went up a quarter of the way. Like, a little bit. Like, when I saw that it was made by the CW. Oh, (laughs) Yeah, like, there's nothing wrong with the CW. The CW slash the WB. Remember when it was the W when it was WB oh instead God. of yeah, uh, CW? Oh man! Like I remember growing up watching Smallville and Supernatural, uh, and Smallville. then you know they had the shows like Gossip Girl and 90210 that like I didn't. Well, I think 90210 was just a revival of the old 90210. Yeah, but, honestly, I loved um, that show. <laughs> like you had those shows like on the WB that like first started out there. And then it turned into CW, and then of course Smallville went off the air, and then Supernatural continued for fucking fifteen years. And My then God. so glad they ended that. Like not and no shade to Supernatural, but like yeah, they, no, that needed to the, end. <laughs> the fandom will come after us, and they will they no, will yeah. burn us at the stake. A hundred percent. That is absolutely no shade to them. Um, yeah. I'm glad it ended. Yeah, same. They needed to move on from that, and like explore bigger and better things. Yeah, like. Jared Padalecki is now he's still in a, he's still doing a CW show but mm-hmm. he is uh <laughs> Walker the Walker Texas Ranger uh oh, yeah. series they're okay. doing yeah he's the star of that and then Jensen is going off to do work for Amazon he's going to be in oh, yeah, season the 4 boys. of the boys yeah, yeah 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 I'm so excited I don't know if there is a release date for that yet let me take a look the boys the boys season 4 I also uh, my microphone picks up when I put it through Levelator. So, quick behind the scenes thing here, everybody. Uh, to get the audio levels equally balanced in our voice tracks, to get like the lows up to where the highs are and have a nice balanced voice track, we put them through a program called Levelator after we export the audio from our recording program. And it also tends to pick up the tiny noises that you wouldn't normally hear if I were to just not put it through Levelator. Yeah. So when I'm typing, the audio brings that quiet typing all the way up. Like, I'm <laughs> it's like, sure. shush, shush, shush. <laughs> can you hear me type over Discord? Um, only occasionally. Okay. You can hear every single thing after I take it out of levelator so it'll bring the quietness up so you just hear a gradual increase like loud <laughs> zooming audio of just clack 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 and i'm like oh my god stop uh, oh wait no, i completely I, I there's only two seasons of the boys there's i'm ta- i mean season three not season oh. four what the hell <laughs> like season four doesn't exist what the hell 
Um, I don't know if these are actual official posters, but there's some pretty cool fan. I'm we're gonna go ahead and say that these are fan made of the boys season three. They've put uh, Jensen Ackles in the posters, and I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I'm about to ask you a question that I'm sure Kat has asked you a bunch, and you are probably annoyed at it by now. But not to say you're annoyed by your 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 lovely girlfriend, Kat. Kat, we love you. Are you at all interested in watching the boys? You can um, say no, and I won't hate you. I think eventually, yes. I just have so many shows that I need to finish that That's I'm fair. so close to. But I'm just That's really, fair. I'm so bad with watching shit. Like, I want to be able to sit down and, like, binge the fuck out of something. But I mean, especially we've been sitting and binging the fuck out of these well, horror things. Yeah. I feel like it's better to binge shit with other people. If I'm alone, I get distracted very easily. And, like, I just, I physically can't just sit down and watch something. Like, I need to be doing something. Do you multitask when you watch stuff? Like, will you play video games and watch something? Like, you can't sometimes, focus yes. entirely on one thing? Okay, I feel you, because I can. I do that sometimes, too. Yeah. Like, it really depends on how into the show I am. If I, like, hyperfixate on it, then I'm all in. Mm -hmm. But if it's, like, a show I've seen before, or it's, like, I'm, I like the show, but I'm not, like, super invested into it, then... I'll be doing just random shit, but still paying attention. I find the easiest way for me to, and when I say this, people are going to be like, oh, of course. Uh, the way that I tend to be able to fixate on one thing, especially if it's a TV show or a movie that I'm watching, especially in a group setting where it's like if I fidget and like look at my phone or something, it might come off as rude or something so yeah, i don't like I to do always that. feel so bad when i'm like with people and i'm watching something and then like i just i literally just have to do something else instead of just sit there because if not i'll like go insane and I, I won't fidget with my phone unless i see someone else do it first that's true i get that is I that, get that weird no because I, I feel like it definitely does come off as rude that's why i try to avoid it as much as i can <laughs> But yeah, the one thing that I do is I just smoke. I just do a couple dabs. Get no, I get pretty, that. Get pretty high, and then I'm able to watch and focus. And plus, sometimes, most of the time, I just get more invested in the show that way anyway. Yeah. No, I feel that very much. But I... then there are other times when I when I smoke, and then it's like, oh, I got to do a bunch of things at once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get that. It's hard out here paying attention. Yeah. And I feel like paying attention is even worse now because there's just so many, th especially now that smartphones have come such a long way. I sound yeah. like a fucking adult here. Uh, I sound like a parent. Those damn smartphones. Them damn smartphones making us dumber day by day. Back in my day, we rode on rocks. It's like, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mom, Dad, I'm pretty sure you you wrote on paper. Uh, no, no, we wrote on rocks. We wrote on big ass tablets, but they were rocks. <laughs> and they weren't as light as, the, as these iPads or Kindles. Like, holy shit, son! These these had to have weighed like three tons. Ton, three tons. Ah, uh, but yeah. Smartphones definitely are taking over. Technology in general is just taking over. Also, I feel like ev I don't want to say everybody. I don't want to say everybody because then I'm going to get in trouble. But I feel like it's more common nowadays for young people to be diagnosed with ADHD. Yes. Before, before they're like 20. Yeah. I, my fifth grade teacher knew I had ADD. Um, <clears throat> but I was never tested for it until I was like 16, 17. Mm -hmm. And then my psychiatrist was like, oh yeah, <laughs> you have oh. ADD. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, my, my pediatrician, um, uh, sent me to a psychiatrist 
and when I was, I think, in sixth grade, I believe, and uh, I was diagnosed with ADHD. Um, I it was really bad in school because oh, same. I it's like my grades were fine, but when I was in class, I was always doodling or writing. Um, when I was younger, I used to write a lot. I used to just write just random gibberish. I used to come up with like, uh, song lyrics or, well, I mean, I guess you could say poems if anything, because I'd never like put them to any music, Yeah. but I was just, I was just, I just had a very creative, imaginative brain as mm-hmm. a young kid, which is, I, I'm sure, which is why I eventually <clears throat> gravitated towards, uh, making shit on the internet because it's yep. a way that I can still stay creative. It's something that I've always d- being creative, not, you know, making content on the internet and shit, but just being creative and having some sort of creative outlet has always been in, in the front of my mind. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's something that I need. And I feel like I would panic if I didn't have that. Yeah. No, I get that. There was a point to this, but I'm, as I continue to ramble on, it ten, it's con- starting to fade away, the point that I had to this. Um, you were very... Uh, it was really bad in school, ADHD. Oh, yes. See? It's even happening now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get that very much. Because <laughs> uh, my the way my mind seems to work is I come to i often come to a crossroads right or like there's like a fork in the road like a just like a situation happens and i have to stand there and it feels like within maybe two seconds like all these are like what you normally have are like maybe two ways to go Mm -hmm. but my mind when i'm standing there for about three seconds just so many different things open up so many different roads open Dude, up and i'm just like oh where the fuck do i, I go i feel that so fucking hard like in school especially if i was reading something so i'd be reading something and i'd be like looking at every word but my mind would not be there it would be like 80 miles down the road just yeah. thinking about something or like creating a scenario in my head or like just doing random stupid shit or even if someone was like teaching like i will be straight up looking at the teacher and looking at what they're doing but not comprehend a single thing they are saying because my mind isn't there Uh uh-huh uh that's why i used to i used to sweat bullets when i would get called on in class or even if i had the inkling suspicion that i was gonna get called on in class Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, if they would like look at you too long and you'd be like, fuck. <laughs> and I feel like and I feel like my bullies knew it too because yeah. I don't know if I don't know if your teacher would ever be like have someone come onto the board to answer a question and be like, oh, I pick someone else. Oh my god. Everyone always god. picked me. And That's horrible. I was, I was like, well not not everyone, not all the time, but but there were plenty of times when some asshole that I just didn't like and they didn't like me for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I don't think that any of my bullies had any reason to bully me other than the fact that there was just nothing else to do. Yeah, no, 100%. And I was an easy target because I was kind of, I was kind of quiet. I was never like the class clown. I was never like outwardly trying to make everybody laugh all the time, Mm -hmm. but I was just the kid that existed. Me. I was so, very quiet in yeah. school and I would just like stick to myself and I, I had a few friends and I think the only time I would actually get in trouble is if like I was sitting next to one of my friends and I would talk to them. Yeah. But that's literally only time I would get in trouble. Uh, I got in trouble in home ec and took the fall for one of my friends. Damn. Uh, we had these cereal boxes that we had to like our home ec was we didn't learn anything about home economic oh what home ec what does that stand for home economics yeah okay uh there was absolutely nothing that we did that helped we learned how to operate an oven and a microwave and we made Jesus. pizza like we made pizza bagels i remember but, always wanting to have home ec but in my schools we didn't so was there just too many of you? Yeah, there were four thousand oh. people in my high school. 
Jeez. It was disgusting. I hated it. Uh, <laughs> there was probably a, a thousand kids in my middle school. Damn. Um, and then like 150 kids in my high school, which was what? like, well, I wouldn't say 150. There was probably more than that. I'd probably say maybe two. 150 kids that's between so small the middle school between the middle school and the high school combined like that's ridiculous students. yeah How my did graduating I, have 4, class, <laughs> I don't know my grad well i went to a private school oh okay oh, okay okay school. that makes sense yeah yeah mine was a public. i went to public yeah i went to public school from elementary to um well i mean pre-k preschool or whatever is there a difference between preschool and pre-k are they the same thing? No, that's the same thing, yeah. Because okay. it's pre-kindergarten. So, yeah. That's what preschool is. I didn't is. know if it was like preschool, then pre-K, then kindergarten. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's like daycare, <laughs> pre-K, then kindergarten. <laughs> Any teachers listening to this say, you fucking idiot. <laughs> so I went, to, I went to Catholic school for uh, pre-K and then went to public school from, ki- from kindergarten all the way until eighth grade. And then I went to... Catholic school from ninth to twelfth grade. Damn. Um Yep. Uh I went to a private kindergarten and then they gross. had uh yeah, no, it was it was a horrible school. Um <laughs> they had uh like I forget what they were I think they were having like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and I'm allergic to nuts. So oh. they kicked me out and put they me k- and they put me in the hallway in a table in the corner with a with a cheese sandwich. It was Gross. just two pieces of bread with cheese in the middle. Two pieces. <laughs> two pieces of bread. I'm pretty sure you said pieces. I, I know, I no, know. I did, I did. Okay, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, they they kicked me out of the classroom and made me sit out there for a while until they were oh, done. Fuck, that's kind of fucked up. A little bit, and then my parents found out and they took me out of that school. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Yeah. Good, because it was an expensive fucking school. And it's a it's an expensive school, and they can't afford to give you a decent lunch. They gave you peanut butter and jelly, and if you Bruh. didn't, if you were somehow allergic to peanuts, <laughs> you go in the hallway. You, got, you, get out, you go in the hallway, and they give you a cheese sandwich. I like to imagine that they gave you like half of a craft single to split it between two pieces of bread. <laughs> it's like this is all they have. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> You, you're allergic to peanuts. You're the spawn of Satan. Dude, that's, that's how they made me feel. I was like, okay, I'll just go fuck myself then. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. My fucking, my fucking brain. What the hell? Uh, we're, we're talking. We started talking about ADHD, and then now my ADHD is on full display. I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, uh, We were just talking about, like, schools. We were talking about schools, but I had a point that was going into school. I was talking about my bullies. Uh... Peanut butter, cheese, jelly sandwiches. Um, Ew. You know, peanut butter, butter cheese, cheese, jelly, jelly sandwich. <laughs> uh, you know those, you know those tubs of, you know, like companies tried to make peanut butter and jelly a lot easier by putting oh the peanut butter God. and the jelly together. It was Ew. like half of the jar was peanut butter and half the jar was jelly. Yeah. Imagine that there's a third layer and it's like cheese. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> It's like the nacho cheese, but when it's not tech really melted, <gasps> but it's like kind of gelatinous. Oh, it has, it has like a wiggle to it. Like, and there's still like that water. Yeah, the water at the top. The <laughs> peanut. You know how peanut butter gets oily and kind of watery sometimes. No, but I believe it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what kind of peanut butter are you eating? I don't. <laughs> uh. Well, yes. I know, that's true. I also asked the wrong person if they you know did. what the, the water on top of peanut butter looks like. I don't know. Maybe someone in your house eats peanut butter. Wait, I do, mean, does do, anyone in your house? Oh, okay. Well, maybe you should. Maybe you should look at their peanut butter more often. I will. You know what? I'll be like, hey, can I see that? And they'll be like, yeah, uh. stick your nose in there and I go, Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> caloroso. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So trivia. Yeah, I was just about to be like trivia. <laughs> <laughs> <This is> trivia. <laughs> Help. Okay, uh, we're struggling here. Subscribe to our Patreon. <laughs> Subscribe to our non-existent Patreon. <laughs> our non-existent Patreon. Maybe in a year or two we'll make a Maybe. Patreon. Who knows? That'd be cool. You, you know that a lot of that. I think OnlyFans is finally shaping out to be like a site that's not 
always necessarily for Lude. um lewds. Oh. Like it's kind of like some creators are getting on there and they're kind of treating it like a Patreon. Yeah, which you could totally do. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, um, maybe Ugh. we can make an maybe we can make an OnlyFans. Cool. And post bonus content. I don't that'd know. That'd be sick. Who knows? I can't even get together for one podcast a week, so it's like I don't know what we're gonna do for extra content here. <laughs> I've just been busy, y'all. You know, life be like that sometimes. Yeah, and I just started streaming again. What a legend. Yeah. What a yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say yeah. a legend. <laughs> I wouldn't say a legend, but I think you're a legend. Oh, thank you. Anytime. Trivia. <laughs> All right, so y'all know the deal. We have two minutes to answer 10 questions of trivia. Both of us have come up with 10 questions for one another. Yeah, he. And we are going to start it off with the coin flip. So, Briannis. Yeah. Would you like to call it? Um, let's do tails. Okay, cool. Here we go. It's heads. Hey. All right, ready. All right. right, Here we go. All right. Number one. How many electric... Are you okay? Yeah. Just... Okay, I'm going to restart that. (laughs) All right, hang on. Hold up. (laughs) Hold up. (laughs) Number one. How many electors make up the electoral college in the United States? Fuck! Uh, Is it 32? (laughs) What group of natural pigments affect the color of hair and skin? What, what? What natural what? Group, what? what group of natural pigments affect the color of hair and skin? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> skip. Uh, skip? Okay. In what year did the... In, in what year did both the Titanic sink and Fenway Park in Boston open? Oh, was it like 1912? What was the first fruit that was eaten on the moon? I want to say a banana. Who said, I always thought losing my virginity was a career move? You have a minute left. Was that from like a movie or a TV show? No, it's an actual person. Oh, uh, Bill Clinton. Sorry. Okay. I, uh, sorry. We're losing time. <laughs> Entomologists study what? <laughs> Fuck. You said what? Entomologists study what? Ooh, Thirty seconds. I don't know. Skip. All right. Little Red Riding Hood was called what in the original story by the Brothers Grimm? Oh no. Uh, the girl with the red hood. <laughs> in what orientation should what? In what orientation should one not store beer? In heat? What is the primary ingredient in soy sauce besides water? Ooh. Three seconds. <laughs> Sesame oil? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you said <laughs> All right. <laughs> Valiant effort, friend. Those are some questions, let me tell you. Those are some questions, yeah. All right. You ready for yours? Absolutely. You said that these ones before we started are very geography-based? Kind of. Like a few of them. Okay. All right. Ready? No! Yes. (laughs) Okay. And number one. Fissures, vents, and plugs are all associated with which geological feature? lakes uh which of shakespeare's plays is the longest (gasps) uh macbeth (gasps) how many ribs are in a human body 14 what is the world's largest or yeah largest island what's the largest island fuck uh (laughs) 
Japan? <laughs> okay. I don't think Japan. I think Japan's a peninsula. In which city was Anne Frank's hiding place? Which city was Anne Frank's hiding place? Yeah. Uh. Boston. Okay. <laughs> which country right. produces the most coffee in the world? Which country? Yeah. Uh, Jamaica. What was the name of the rock band formed by Jimmy Page? Led Zeppelin. Nice. Power outages in the U.S. are mostly caused by what? Dumb fucks. No, uh, power outages, um... 28 exploding, seconds. Wait, uh, uh... Um... Uh... The fuck are those things called? Transformer explosions. What was the first state? First state? Ten uh, seconds. Massachusetts. What's the hardest rock? A geode. All right. That's <laughs> so bad. <laughs> geode. <laughs> You know, we're almost 20 episodes in, and I just don't give a fuck about my answers anymore sometimes. <laughs> Me neither. That's I'm just why like, I'm if like it's, Bill, if it, Clinton. <laughs> yeah, Bill Clinton. Bill <laughs> Clinton. All right. Are you ready to hear yours? <laughs> yeah. All right. This is going to be exciting. All right. I here bet. we go. Number one, how many electors make up the Electoral College in the United States? You said 32. How confident are you? Not confident whatsoever. Okay, it's 538. Love that for me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on up in the world. This is Brianna. What group of natural pigments affect the skin? Uh, what group of natural pigments affects the color of hair and skin? You skip that one. It's melanin. Damn. You're right. Uh, not to be confused with melatonin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Number three, in what year did both the Titanic sink and Fenway Park in Boston open? You said 1912. That is correct. Damn. Yes. Uh, number four, what was the first fruit that was eaten on the moon? What did you want to say? I said a banana. A banana? It's a peach. Damn. Number five, who said, I always thought losing my virginity was a career move? <laughs> you said Bill Clinton. <laughs> Can you imagine Bill had waited for his entire life to have sex and it just happened to be with Monica Lewinsky? <laughs> I did not have sexual relations with, with that, that woman. woman. I was saving myself for Hillary. <laughs> didn't he have kids by didn't they both have kids by then? I think so. I think so. <laughs> These are not my real children. I'm like turning the. I don't know what I'm turning Bill Clinton into. I do a horrible impression. Anyway, um, and number six, entomologists study what? You skipped. They study. Oh wait, insects. who was who was the one that said? Oh, oh, it was Bill Clinton. No, I'm kidding. It was Madonna. <laughs> Madonna. <laughs> it was okay. Madonna. Uh, entomologists study what? You skipped that. Entomologists study insects. Damn. Number seven, no Little Red Riding fuck. Hood. What? <laughs> no wonder I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about insects or the study of them. They can all go die. Ten uh, Number seven, Little Red Riding Hood was called what in the original story by the Brothers Grimm? Uh, you said Little Red Hood is Red Hood or something? Yeah, the girl with the red hood. <laughs> the girl with the red hood. It's, <laughs> it's Little Red Cap. Oh. Okay. Uh, number eight. In what orientation should one not store beer? You said in heat. It's on its side. Wow. Uh, number nine. I also don't think you should store beer in heat either. Yeah. But, um, that's the answer it gave me was on its side. Uh, number nine. What is the primary ingredient in soy sauce besides water? You said, uh, <laughs> it's not that. It's wheat. Oh, Damn. And then <clears throat> number 10, which we didn't get to, is what is the name of a full moon that occurs in January? Do you know? Ooh, I don't. I love that bitch, but I don't know the name. <laughs> it is a wolf moon. Wolf moon. Love right, that. So you got one question right. Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, like I All said, right. moving on up. <clears throat> We're moving on up. All right. Now yours. Uh, so number one was fissures, uh, vents, and plugs are all associated with ge- with which geological feature? You said lakes. It's volcanoes. Fuck. Which of Shakespeare's plays is the longest? Did you say? What did you say? I said Macbeth. It's Hamlet. <laughs> How many ribs are in a human body? You said 14. 24. You were very 24. close. You were very Damn. close. It's um, 10 off. Yeah. What is the world's biggest island? You said Japan. It's Greenland. Greenland, of course. Uh, in which city was Anne Frank's hiding place? It's in Boston. Said Boston. <laughs> Wait, was it city? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Uh, which country produces the most coffee in the world? What did you say? Jamaica. Oh, yeah. It's Brazil. Brazil. Fuck. Uh, what was the name of the rock band formed by Jimmy Page? You said Led Zeppelin. That is correct. Um, power outages in the U.S. are mostly caused by what? You said exploding transformers. It's squirrels. 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 Shit. Uh, what was the first state? You said Massachusetts. It's Delaware. And what's the hardest rock? You said a geode. It's a diamond. A diamond? Yeah. So we both Damn got it. one correct. Shit. <laughs> All right. Well, we got to do a lightning round. Oh. God. All right. So for those of you that don't know, in lightning rounds, we come up with five questions and we have a minute to answer each. Yep. All right. Do you want to do the same order? <clears throat> uh, Sure. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. No, this time you go first. Okay. Actually, no. We'll do a coin toss again. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> this time we'll call now. it. Yeah, okay. All right. This time we'll call it. Uh, heads. Here we go. Tails. Sick. All right. You ready? Yes. Number one. What are the names of the three good fairies from Sleeping Beauty? <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Bibbity boppity blorp. Yep. Uh, who was the only Disney villain to never actually appear on screen in their respective Disney film? Shit. So this is mine's all Disney theme. I don't know. Skip. Uh, Patrick Stewart has said that turning down this Disney character is the greatest regret of his film career. Oh. Fuck. Uh, 10 seconds. The genie from Aladdin. Uh, what is the name of Mulan's horse? Fuck. Broski. <laughs> You're out of time. <laughs> ah. Oh, I don't know. Disney, you were, you were like, do you like Disney? I'm like, I love Disney. And here we <laughs> like, are. what the fuck? <laughs> okay, my turn. Number one, in which city would you find Wembley Stadium? Wembley? Oh, no. Is it Australia? Oh, wait, city? Yes. Uh, Melbourne. <laughs> what is the more common term for sternum? Oh, so. Abdomen? What is the chemical name for the mineral known as fool's gold? Oh, oh, fuck. I know this, but I don't. I don't. I forgot the name. 25 seconds. I love how you're like, I know this, but I don't. <laughs> Skip. All right. In the health world, what does BMI stand for? Uh, Body mass index. Number five. Who is the 35th president of the United States? Oh, bitch. Um, mm, Bill Clinton. <laughs> 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 He's my answer forever. Always. <laughs> <laughs> What is love, Bill Clinton? What is sex, Bill Clinton? <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, all right, I guess we'll go through. We'll go through the same order. I guess you'll go first. Yeah. Okay. So, number one, what are the names of three good fairies from Sleeping Beauty? You said bippity boppity blurp. Um, <laughs> bippity boppity blorp. Blorp. <laughs> so it's flora, fauna. And Merryweather. How the fuck? I don't know. I've okay. never heard of those names, but it's fine. Um, 
Who is the only Disney villain to never actually appear on screen in their respective Disney film? You skip that. It's literally a man from Bambi. Like the humans. I actually never saw Bambi. <gasps> uh, anyway. Okay. I was saving myself a lot of trauma. Yeah, no, 100%. Uh, Patrick Stewart has said that turning down this Disney character is the greatest regret of his film career. That person is Jafar. Jafar? Oh, yeah. so close. You were very close. Uh, Same what is, movie. Yeah. What is the name of Mulan's horse? Did you answer that one? I said broski. Yeah, it's Khan. <laughs> ah, so close. <laughs> Fuck. So close. God. Uh... And number five, we didn't get to this one, but what is the only Disney song to win a Grammy Award for Song of the Year? Do you know that one? Is it Let It Go by Frozen? No. Or Let It Go from Frozen? No. It's a whole what new is... world. Really? Yeah. Huh. Okay. I would have figured that Let It Go was going to... I love how it was like yeah. Let It Go by Frozen. Let It Go by Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> artist frozen oh, right <laughs> all right uh all right so here we go with yours number <clears throat> wait so i got nothing right right no all right cool <laughs> in which city would you find wembley stadium you said melbourne it is london fuck me in the ass because i love jesus okay <laughs> fuck, did you say fuck me in the ass because i love jesus <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> what is that from or did you just make that up on the no, spot it's from, a, it's from a video on youtube have you never seen that oh my god no. it's so fucking funny i will i will send you the link to it okay um what is the more common term for sternum you said abdomen it is the breastbone fuck yeah your boobies have bones in them you didn't know my boobies <laughs> <laughs> your little boobles my boobles <laughs> uh number three what is the chemical name for the mineral known as fool's gold did you skip this one? Yeah, because I didn't know the name of it. All right. It's iron sulfide. Okay. That's Number not at four. all what I thought it was, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> that cracking sound, it sounded, I'd like to imagine that you were like cracking your neck out of rage. No, that was me hitting my <laughs> hand. <laughs> uh, Number four, in the health world, what does BMI stand for? You said body mass index. That is correct. Yeah. Um, and number five, who is the 35th president of the United States? You said Bill Clinton. It is John F. Kennedy. <laughs> close. So close. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, Bill Clinton. What was, What number was he? That's a good question. 42nd. Oh, eh, that was kind of close. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Eh, no, not at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so I lost. Yeah, you did. Which, yeah, which means you have to come up with a punishment for me. I do. Do you have pasta? I do have pasta. I always have pasta. Okay. What I want you to do is eat raw pasta. Eat raw pasta? Yeah. Film it. How much? How big are your pastas? I mean, I it comes in varying sizes. <laughs> what are the, what are the sizes you currently have? <laughs> um, I have bucatini, which is like a long pasta. It's kind of thick. Um, Do I half some, of that. Half of that. Half of that. Okay. Or a quarter, if you want. Or a quarter. Or a quarter. Like eat an actual quarter. <laughs> yes, a whole quarter. Uh, <laughs> I want you to swallow a quarter. Do I have to swallow? Yes. Okay, fine. Just chew that shit up real good. Oh my god, they're going to be sticking out of my poop. <laughs> a little bit. I had a friend who would eat raw pasta. How were their shits afterwards? I don't know. I've never really asked, but... Uh, could you ask for me? I haven't spoken to him in a couple years now. <laughs> Well, hey, what better how are way? Your what, be yeah, what better way to strike up a conversation with an old friend? <laughs> no, you know what? You are correct. <laughs> so you ask your friend. You reach out, ask how their poops have been, with absolutely no context to, to leading up to that conversation. Uh, you let me know how that hey, goes. Hey, how your poops been? <laughs> it's <Yeah>. like what? <laughs> Speaking of poops, 
I heard that your stomach is not feeling that great today. No, I, the past few days, really, it's been like, just been angy, you know? Like I wake up yeah. and I got a shit and I'm not really eating much. So I'm confusion. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know. I was about I to, know. I was going to be my next question. I was like, what, what, what have you been eating? I've been having like a, maybe like one or two meals a day. What do they typically consist of? Um, depends. Like today I'm going to have pizza, which is probably not good <laughs> but <laughs> you know life is a highway <laughs> life is a highway and we're gonna ride it all night long damn fucking right even if it's on a toilet i'm i'm riding it that's literally your car seat is just a toilet <laughs> it's literally <laughs> and there's a giant septic tank on the back of the truck <laughs> the the daydream arcade doesn't run on electricity it runs on your gas power literally Honestly, that totally could happen too. Because <laughs> I'm we a hook gassy you up to gal. A machine and we and we run the we run this place on your energy. Yep, mm-hmm. it's literally just connected to me, connected to yeah. my ass. I I am a little worried that might go against like uh, what what is it OSHA standards or what what is it who who do, who is like in charge of like human basic rights in the workplace. Uh, Don't say I human resources. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not HR. No. <laughs> um, I think you were right. OSHA. Is it OSHA? Watch that be for like the ocean. I don't <laughs> think kidding. so. <laughs> I, yeah, uh, um, actually, we're for beach cleanup. <laughs> OSHA. <laughs> Is this what it stands for? Ocean County Employees Association? I don't think so. Because Orange County, Orange County, Orange County and is Orange just Can. in. In uh, California. Am There's sp- also um, an Orange County here. Oh, OSHA. Okay, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Okay. Yeah, so I think you're, yeah, you're okay. correct. Yeah, I'm kind of worried, though, that OSHA might come down once they hear that I have... I mean, technically, I mean, we both run this company. We both yeah. own this building. So. And it's consensual. Yeah, but morally, though, I mean, is it right to hook up your coworker via asshole <laughs> to this machine that powers the entire building? Not to mention the rocket we have in the basement. That is I mean, true. If it, worst comes to worst, if you die from it, Santa's still alive in the basement. <gasps> we can always, I mean. When's the last time you think he got something shoved up his butt? Probably a long while. He might like it. I mean, he's been here for he's been here for almost three months now. You think that? Hmm. Well, we were going to do Taco Bell to Taco Bell reviews today. Yes. Because Brianna here has never had Taco Bell potatoes, and they just recently came back. I have not. I'm excited to try them. Yeah. At the beginning of the pandemic, Taco Bell took away so many things off of their menu. And one of those things that left were the potatoes. And those are mm, my favorite things on their menu, specifically the spicy potato soft taco. It's one of the cheapest things on the menu, but it's one of the tastiest. And I wanted her to try it. But she told me today that her stomach was upset. So I ended up going to get the Taco Bell for my half because I wanted to partake with her and share that experience. So today was Lonely Taco Day. This is the episode with no tacos. We did not live moss in this episode. (laughs) Wow. But hopefully next week we will live moss. We shall have it next week. And enjoy the fuck out of it, hopefully. <laughs> yes. Well, I, you hope, will. <laughs> I hope you have a good experience. <laughs> yeah. Because I know that you don't have a great relationship with Taco Bell, which is unfortunate. No, I, I don't feel like everyone know should why. have at least some kind of a decent relationship with Taco Bell. Yeah. Like, I had a good relationship with Taco Bell very briefly. Very briefly. Like, it was, mm, I want to say, like, two, three weeks of, like, good times. And then mm. I got mono. And then oh. the last thing I had before I got real sick was Taco Bell. So I was just triggered. Like the ground beef, We're, I can't. I can't even smell it because I will projectile I mean, vomit. It, it says 
that the meat for like the beef and whatnot is not FDA approved. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I figured, you know, potatoes are the best way to go. <laughs> this is true. And then uh, after that whole ordeal about when I got mono, I had it again. My best friend. Um, I had like, I don't remember. I think it was. I think it was like a shredded chicken burrito. With like that, uh, like that sauce and shit. So I yeah. had that. It was real good. Loved it. Went to bed. Woke up. Puked my brains out. Oh no, that's unfortunate. I, yeah, I, I I really don't understand why my stomach just rejects it. <laughs> I've never gotten sick from Taco Bell. Really? Damn. Yeah. I wish that were me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Some people can't handle handle it. They just got small dick energy when it comes to Taco <laughs> Bell. Leave my pee pee alone. No, everyone <laughs> no. in chat, look at, look at Brianna's <laughs> tiny penis. Look at it dangle in the wind. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll try that again next week. What, tiny penises? No, oh. potatoes. <laughs> uh... Did you know that potatoes have penises? <gasps> Is that what, like, those little green things... <laughs> <laughs> when you leave like a potato out for like a couple weeks and then they just grow those little worm looking things <laughs> those are so gross honestly they are really gross uh i used to work at a restaurant and sometimes we would find potatoes that had just been sitting in the storage for like months and they have just a ton of those things growing on them and Ugh. i'm like ew Oh, put put those shits someone away. Put this thing, someone put this thing out of its misery. Like, ugh. well, OSHA, don't come after us. No. And if you do, uh, I should I should warn you that um, I do keep a shotgun behind the counter. So if you if you come in and de start demanding things, well, then I might have to um, take matters into my own hands. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I'm saying picking up what I'm putting down. Picking up the shotgun, putting it down. <laughs> right there. Inside of your face. Okay, so uh, thank you everyone for listening to this episode. And yeah. We appreciate you very much. Um, you haven't been listening to music this week, have you? You hate music, right? I hate music, no. All right, sweet. So we'll see you guys next week for episode 18. <laughs> thank you. Bye. <laughs>